So, all of us have explored Dwemer runes at one point or another. Within these runes, you are 95% certain to come across the horrific, disgusting creatures known as the Falmer. The Falmer to you look almost like a kind of goblin running around in a hunched stance with their own crafted weapons, shields, armors and bows. They seem to have huts and settlements everywhere deep underground and it is basically its own type of civilization spread out amongst the lands of Skyrim. From what we know, there are only Falmer situated in Skyrim, but they could be in other places around Tamriel too, more than likely they are. Some Falmer favour using a sword and others favour using a bow. You will even come across Falmer who use magic and it seems to be a trend among some of them to dabble in alchemy too as you will come across alchemy tables and lots of ingredients and Falmer attacking you with poisons when searching these places. Any attempts to talk or try and convince them to listen to you has failed miserably miserable in the past, so why is this? How did these creatures come to being a thing in the world of the Elder Scrolls? Well that's what I will be answering for you today and so my Elder Scrolls loving friends sit back, relax and let's delve into the story of how the Falmer came to be. So some of you may already know all the lore behind this, but it's always fun to go over it and maybe learn one or two new things during the video. We can also speculate certain stuff, so why not share the common practice of learning lore together? So I have already shown you some Falmer shots earlier in the video and you already know what they're like, their living quarters and style and the way they initiate combat and treat the outside world. But that's the thing, how do they treat the outside world? They never seem to leave their desolate areas from underground. The Falmer were once the beautiful and majestic race known as the Snow Elves. If you played the Dongar DLC then you will have come across the last two remaining Snow Elves that anybody knows of to the date of Skyrim. All elven races in Tamriel seem to be one big mystery with each race having something so deeply mysterious about it. The Dwemer being a prime example since we still don't know where they went to. The Snow Elves were cousins of the Dwemer and back in the Merithic era they used to live above underground. That was until a war was waged with the Nords of Skyrim and they lost. They were driven underground alongside their elven cousins to which they shared a living together for many many years. But what the Snow Elves did not know was that their fate was going to take a twisted turn. The Dwemer as we all know did not take kindly to the outside world and were extremely cautious of everyone and everything that did not originate from their underground homes. They quickly took to enslaving the Snow Elf refugees and force fed them a toxic fungi in their daily diets that would go on to shaping their form into what we know as the Falmer. This fungi would turn them blind, this and the being stuck underground in dark caves for all their time. Think of the Lord of the Rings, the way Smeagol changes when stuck underground in a cave. The body of any living organism can change rapidly over the course of years depending on their situation at the time. So not only were the Snow Elves destroyed above in Skyrim and Stull's time by the Nords, but they were now products of slavery to a different race underground. This would stay like this all the way until the Dwemer disappeared. By the time the Fort era came around, the Falmer were seen as just a myth, something that didn't exist, but that was until Skyrim became more populated and people started delving into Dwemer ruins a lot more. Although to everyone's knowledge, these ruins would take the dwellers to places where the dwellers would not return most of the time. This was due to either being taken by the vast mechanical defences of the Dwemer or being captured and tortured by the Falmer. The Falmer were notorious in modern age for torture, they absolutely loved to torture any victim they could get their hands on, and ultimately feed the remains to the disgusting chorus which reside alongside them which they use for farming and other things like that. You can find torture areas in a lot of parts of the runes and the current cruelty of the race is almost an homage to the own torment they suffered. The Falmer are a race that suffered tremendously to shape them into what they are today, and a living proof of how nasty the Dwemer race may actually have been in its time on Nern. That's all for today's video, but make sure to leave some suggestions in the comment section below on what you think we should look into and talk about next. As always I hope you guys all enjoyed and make sure to subscribe for more Elder Scrolls related content and hit that bell icon if you want to see stuff from me pop up in your sub box. I hope you all have a wonderful day, week, month or year and I'll see you all in the next one.